Hi, my name is Mali. I've been working on this series, a sketch a day for almost a month now. So I hope you enjoyed all the drawings. Um, I've been challenging myself to draw every day. And today it's my 27th sketch. So stick around and I will show you how to draw these uh, papers. As always, I start with the envelope here. I should have drawn like that. So they're all going to fit inside a rectangle. Next, I'm going to chop the corners like so. The top, the other side. You can start directly with this kind of envelope um, instead of doing the uh, rectangle. It's up to you. With practice, you'll know better how to start. Next, I will cut in half my rectangle to control the symmetry. The red and the green papers are the same size, so that's easy. And I'm going to place the loose shapes of the two in the foreground. The red one is lower, the top is lower, and the yellow one like so. I can erase now the envelope, but you can be, leave it until you don't need it. So always start with the big shapes first and then before you go into the details. So I'm going to divide the different parts. Oh, let's place the top first, right in the center. There's more on this side and less on this side. I see a big part here, a second part there, third part there. I see a big portion on this side and the left side and then the back. I will do the same thing for the yellow one. This big part here and the back. That's all I need. So now I can start refining. So let's go with the obvious. I'm going to work the top. All around. One line here. I might as well place the top, the base of the stem. I have another line on this side. The edge starts from the tip. It's bump. And then starting from the tip again, another bump and another line. I'll finish the top with this 
last line. Now, this part here sticks out and then it goes down and it curves to the bottom. It curves again, this time longer. And then it goes up to connect with the top. I will shade lightly here to give dimension to the different parts. Otherwise it would look flat. Now I will do the same thing <coughs> for the yellow paper. It starts from the middle here. It goes to the stem. The other part starts there on the grain. Here you have like, and I broke the pencil. When this happens, always have a second pencil on the table. So you don't waste time sharpening a new one. So I'm going to finish this heart shape like so. And from the side I'll go back towards the center. There's another bump here. I'm going to place the stem first and finish the back there. Now the red one I place the stem first. I know it's in the right spot because <coughs> the outline is right. That's a stem, and then I just need to finish the top, like so. This part here, I go around and behind the stem. So there's a gap between the red and the green, and you see, see the uh, bottom of the yellow. And then here it's curvy. The gap is bigger. Another curve here, and I connect with the top. I'm almost done. I'm just going to shade to give dimension to the papers. And that's pretty much it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future videos, leave a comment below. As always, you can download this uh, reference photo on my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. I'm almost done here. More shading on the yellow. And 
isn't it? That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.